the pediatric transport system um, works basically in this way. The um, outline physicians or physicians at hospitals uh, that don't have pediatric services or don't maybe have as many pediatric services as we have will, would call us um, for advice, for consultation on how to treat patients and also for transport on how to uh, transport to bring patients here to Galistano Children's Hospital. Um, we send a nurse, a respiratory therapist, and sometimes a physician out to get the patient. Um, we utilize all forms of transportation um, from ground ambulance like we're in today to fixed wing airplane to helicopter. Uh, we actually work with the ambulance and we go out there and working really like a transportable ICU into that other facility. And that, we think, has made for much better care for the patient. Uh, and so that our timing is much less important in terms of when the child actually arrives back in the intensive care unit here at the Children's Hospital. But really all we have to factor into it is how fast we get to that patient in the other facility because the care begins right there. So this is the equipment that we bring with us on every transport, um, whether we go by ground or by air. <clears throat> we take all of our equipment with us that will basically turn whatever hospital we're in or whatever vehicle we're in into a uh, pediatric ICU. Um, we have a fair number of uh, respiratory um, pieces of equipment. We have um, multiple drugs that we take um, with us. We um, have a full supply of monitoring equipment um, that we can use to monitor basically anything we can monitor in the ICU we can monitor while we're out on transport. Um, and it, it doesn't matter the mode. Uh, it could be ground or by air, and if we're spending time in the other emergency department, we can use it there also. So as far as where we go, we go as far northeast as Watertown um, to the southeast, um, Binghamton, uh, and these are common, common sites that we transport from. Um, as far southwest is Jamestown and northwest up to Buffalo and Niagara Falls area. But basically we'll get um, patients from anywhere that they are if they need to come here to Galisano Children's Hospital. Uh, parents of children who are really ill uh, or injured at times uh, need to realize that when they see the team coming from the Children's Hospital they are in safe and extremely competent hands.